Liam, welcome to Dunfermline Athletic. How does it feel to be a fast player? No, obviously really excited for for like the challenge. I know there's not many games left to go, so hopefully we can just get the wins, you know, that we need to push up up the table. Obviously, it's, it's an exciting challenge with coming to play under the gaffer again. He's a massive reason why why I wanted to come. You know, I love the way he plays, and hopefully we can get the results that go with that. In terms of the loan deal, has this been something that's been in the pipeline or was it out with the blue yesterday on, on deadline day? No, the gaffer, obviously, I know the gaffer, so he's been after me, speaking to me for a while when he seen that I wasn't playing. And obviously, I wasn't happy that I wasn't playing, so he knew that there was a chance to, to get something over the line. And then when it came about the last day, it's something that I wanted to, to go ahead with, you know, and start playing football again. In terms of um, yourself, you, as you said, you've maybe not been getting the game time that you would have liked over the last few weeks, but do you feel you're, you're fit, ready, ready to go if you're required on Saturday? No, definitely. I mean, I've like, been training away hard, hard at Kilmarnock, you know, so I'm definitely ready to go if, if the gaffer calls upon me. Uh, you mentioned in your first answer there in terms of the position we find ourselves in, but you seem very enthused by the prospects here at East End Park, despite us being down in the lower parts of the division, why do you feel so excited about the challenge? Obviously I know some of the some of the boys who are here already and I know the quality that they have and even in training with first day to day you can see there's a lot of, a lot of quality here obviously. You know what it's like when you sometimes when you're not winning games it doesn't matter what sort of quality you've got there, just things start to go against you but hopefully you can turn that around, you know, and get the wins that we obviously need. It's a massive club from when played here before, you know, it, was, it is a big club and it doesn't deserve to be down where it is. Explain to the fans what you hope to bring to the side over the, the next 10 games. Just hopefully it's proved that, you know, hard work, you know, could create some chances for the boys, hopefully chip in with a few goals and really just help towards good team performances and get the wins. You've played in the Championship a lot over your career, you know what it takes to be successful in this division, do you see a lot of those traits here in the squad that has been built over the last few months by the manager? Definitely, I mean, I've, spent, I've had a couple of seasons in the championship, you know, under different different circumstances as well, you know. Not obviously been down the bottom end of the table, but it's something that we can resolve, you know, with hard work and good performances. You said that you've worked under the manager before up at Inverness, so um, what was it about him that, that really uh, attracted you to him and, and his style of play? I think with the way I, I play personally, you know, it's a great great manager to work under. The way he wants to get the ball on the floor, really just pass through, through the lines and play, play good football. And hopefully, obviously, we can now take that forward and start putting the finishing touches on it and get the wins. You're hoping to be involved on Saturday against our growth and contribute to, to a big three points? Hopefully, yeah. I mean, if we can go there and get three points, it would obviously be massive for us and it would help us push towards away from the spots that we're in, you know. Nobody wants to see Dunfermline in the position that they're in, especially not the fans, so hopefully we can go out there and just give everything for them, you know, and definitely hopefully they get behind us and hopefully take it forward.